Today, yeah, that's what we do. Shake, 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 shake it around. Good job. Yeah, shaky, shaky. Yeah, yeah. Don't hit yourself in the face. Today, I am challenging myself to do something so crazy. I don't know why I committed to this. I'm already second guessing if I am capable of the uh, task at hand. But basically, I bought this fabric. It's giving like Santa Claus vibes, right? So I bought this fabric because when we were looking at Burlington for Christmas dresses for our girls, I'm sorry about that noise, but I don't wanna take it away. She's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Uh, when we were at Burlington looking for dresses for the girls to do our Christmas photos, I came across an outfit in Winnie's section that was Winnie's size, and it was a white onesie with some sort of saying and red bell bottoms. And they looked like, you know, they had like the white trim of a Santa hat and they were like the red, like velvety material, but then they had like a bell, like the image of a belt ironed on instead of like an actual belt and it just looked kind of cheesy and i love the bell bottom aspect but i didn't like that part i didn't like the onesie either and so for that reason i left it but then i decided if i just make them and then i can also make my older girls some and then they could all have the exact same pair matching and that would just be so cute for the holiday season and for pictures and they would love that I made them for them and everything so for all those reasons I decided that I'm going to attempt this. I bought a sewing machine four years ago. I have not done too much with it. I've done a few projects and they've turned out okay. Maybe I'm just being hard on myself, but I would definitely say I'm a beginner still. I'm not getting a pattern for this. I'm honestly just gonna watch a few YouTube videos and draft my own pattern and wing it. I bought elastic and I bought this and I bought red thread, which I didn't buy the first time I went to Joanne's. I had to go back a second time because I forgot the red thread. <laughs> Don't eat that. I'm gonna draft a pattern. I'm gonna cut out the fabric. This is completely like, I'm just winging it. I was about to start working on that and then I just started getting really annoyed because we still didn't have Winnie's blood work results back. Her blood was drawn a week ago and I mentioned it in one of my videos and I thought that I would get the results the following day. I usually get the results in less than 24 hours and I didn't get them. I reached out to Quest multiple times. I reached out to the pediatrician multiple times and no one was helping. And so I finally just got a really nice person from Quest on the phone who was able to email me the results. By some miracle, her TSH went from 6.04 to 2.94 and it i'm so thankful because if it had gone up even 0.01 her pediatrician said that would be the indicator to get her into an endocrinologist and so thankfully we have avoided that for at least another few months i was getting so annoyed about it and then i called and i got results and i feel pretty good about it so now i can get back to the task myself cutting out three pattern pieces for each of the girls um, and then I referred back to the tutorial that I was watching and mine just does not look as good as hers so I'm gonna redo this really quick I don't love that and I deleted all the footage of me cutting all these ones out because I was confident that once I did this it was gonna be the right one but I feel like this looks better I just have no idea oh this is harder than I thought it's gonna be and I haven't even started sewing <laughs>
bell bottoms yesterday but not without like three mental breakdowns. So I decided after making hers to just take a break. Figured that today I would make Lux and Lives. This is as far as we got yesterday. <laughs> like bell bottoms, are you kidding me? The problem I had was that I made my own pattern from scratch by just tracing a piece of leggings on paper and then adding like just like a little bit extra for the seam and that did not work for some reason I ended up like not having like I made a pair and there was like no room for the butt like the front and the back were the exact same and they were too small and there wasn't even room for me to add the elastic I don't know where I went wrong I made a new pattern came up with these now I have to make a pattern again for my big kids so I'm going to record that process again today there's like no footage of me making Winnie's but I'm going to try to do the big kids today and hopefully that is a success Are you a fashion icon? Okay, so now we put right sides together. So this is a right side. Is that what I do? Right sides together. So I'm gonna shove this into the other leg. Well, they're still they still have work because they're not gonna have the waistband in yet or the flare part at the bottom. It's yeah, you're gonna have to try them on a few times. No, I didn't put the bottom part on yet. This is the part that your body goes into, like your butt. Wait, you're making my butt thing? Your butt thing? I'm making the top part of your pants. Oh. Here are lives. I do not have elastic in either of them and I do not have the bell bottoms on either of them. So right now I am going to open up the fabric and see what is the biggest size circle I can make four times. And whatever that ends up being, that is just going to be how big the bell bottom is. Their bell bottoms might be literally the same size as Winnie's, so they might be really little. I think that it is smarter to just make use of the remaining fabric we have instead of going and buying another yard. But I will buy new elastic regardless because I don't have enough, even if I use the 
one I have still for one pair of pants. I'm still gonna have to get more for the other pair. So I think I'm just gonna get more for both pairs. But yeah, right now we're gonna cut out more circles, attach them, and then we are gonna head out to Joanne's. I grabbed the biggest pan I have and I just like laid it out. And I could definitely cut this out four times. So now that I know that, I'm gonna make like a paper template. I can like fold it and then fold the fabric. And then I'll have to cut out a circle or a single time, but maybe either cut out like a half circle or a quarter circle, depending on like how I fold this. only took a 20 minute nap that's you right <laughs> yeah now that I cut out the circles for Liv I'm sad that they're not gonna be that big but now I'm realizing how much fabric I actually have left to do luxes so I am gonna make hers bigger I actually ended up at Hobby Lobby. I found the elastic that I need. I feel like this has been so chaotic and it did not go the way I planned, but I think that in the end we will have three wearable pairs of pants, so it doesn't really matter how we got here. We did get here. These are Winnie's. These are Liv's. And these are Lux's. So I'm going to add the elastic to theirs and then I will show you guys what they look like on the girls. Mm -hmm. 